just thought I'd do a quick little video. I'm here in my backyard. As you can see, this is a seven frame uh, Apame nuke box. The bees have done well in here. There are actually two colonies in here. One is facing this way and one is facing the other way. You can see they're real busy. Uh, both of these colonies originated with little two frame uh, nukes. I think I caught a couple of small swarms, didn't know if they'd even make it. They both did well. And then I put them in here. Uh, there are three frames on this side of the colony and three frames on the other side of the colony. Walking around here, you'll see that these bees are coming out of the other side right here. So they're coming out this way and the bees on this half are going that way. So I'm gonna give them some space today. Let me show you how I do it. Now I'm just doing this on my phone. So the sound quality, if it's off a little bit, I apologize, but I think you'll find this interesting. This is the I'm gonna take the lid off. Now I do have three frames of drawing comb over here and I've got some brand new Premier foundation frames I just put together last night. We're gonna put that in there and see how it does. I'm gonna take the three frames out of this side, put them in the nuke box with a couple of frames of Premier foundation. Let's start off with that now. I do have smoke. They've been a little bit feisty when I've looked in them before. A little beetle right there. Let me smoke them. Maybe that'll help. I can't remember exactly when this colony was started. It's been probably at least a month, if not a little bit longer, when I caught those swarms. Bump the bees down. Feeders are so convenient on these FMA colonies. I did feed them a little bit to get them a little bit of a jump start when I put them in here. And now this frame right here is a frame of nothing but foundation when I put them in here. So you're doing okay. I didn't even know if these colonies were gonna survive. Like I said, there's the queen right there. If you can see her running around right here. So let's just drop them in here. We'll just uh, kind of check the board them a bit. Not a huge population yet, but you can see there's a nice brood pattern where she had room to lay, but there wasn't a ton of room to lay because there's only three frames. Now look on this frame right here, I see a bunch of eggs. Now I do see a little queen cell down here. Don't see, didn't see an egg in there. So, so that's one transfer done right there. Put the new Premier Foundation right in here like this. Our flow I think is just starting, pretty good flow. The privet's starting to bloom. So that's good news. So that transfer is done. I'm gonna put them back up on the fort where they were. Gonna have them facing the same direction they were. Okay, so now is, this is gonna be real simple. This side is actually, I think, a little more populated probably. Let's see, maybe, maybe not. Shake the bees down in there. Take out the divider board. This is the divider board. We had three frames on each side. There are actually going to be a few bees from that other colony in here, but I think they'll be okay. Oops, so anyway, I wasn't, I'm not really sure how to get them out of there, but see how I had the divider board closed? Shake the bees in there. Put this right here in the middle similar story see there's some brew on the outside they're actually starting to well looks like they're doing good see look at that sheet of brood right there my goodness look at that isn't that awesome beautiful here right in the middle and this one over here like this once again just everything's drawn out they're just utilizing every cell that they possibly can I take a lot of time looking for the queen, but there's definitely one in there. But I've been real happy with how these bees have done and they've done great in this little Athene. Now I'm just gonna let them grow into this seven frame nuke. Put our foundation in here, foundation in here. Actually, I'm gonna put these right here, checkerboard it like this. I should draw that out very quickly if Premier you know, if it's as good as I've heard it is, which I've heard it's really good. Let's put a couple frames of drawn comb in here. So we have a lot more room for them right here. Some good resources. And they should do well. I'm gonna put the feeders back on. Put the lid on. 
latch it on. And then because it has these handles, it's real easy just to lift back up onto the location where it was. So the bees will definitely be confused for a little while. I closed this entrance right here where these bees were coming in. You can see them already starting to kind of fan. Call everybody home. There's bees kind of flying around out here trying to figure it out. They'll figure it out pretty quickly. And then on this end, so they're already kind of finding it over here. These are coming in from this side. I actually opened up this side too. So now we have both entrances open. Just let them do their thing for a little while. I'll, I'll kind of look at the population, how it is over the next day or two. And I may close these upper entrances over here now that we have them in this other box. Thought you might think that's fun. Show you kind of one way I'm using the seven frame Appen May. Those are two really weak colonies that really didn't need a lot of space. They packed it out. And now it's time to let them grow up and see what they can accomplish. Thanks for watching guys. Now I get to go to a stream team live with uh, the stream team and Gus Mitchell. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.